You know, there's um, so much fear out there and so much anger that I, I got into Proverbs. I got into the Word. And I said, Lord, I, you got to teach me. You got to help me. Because I am a nurse and my nursing colleagues are facing things they, are, they may, I pray, never face again. And I need some wisdom. And the Word says, if we will preserve, this is in Proverbs, sound judgment and discernment, if we will hold on to that, that the Lord would be our confidence and the Lord would give us a sweet sleep that we could rest and not fear. So I thought, well, to preserve that sound judgment, I got some layers I got to peel off. I got to peel off anger. It's like a layer and it's heavy and it has to go. I got to peel off insecurity that I don't know who I am, that you don't know who you are in Christ. We have to peel off guilt and believe that you are forgiven and stop walking around here acting like you don't know what he said. He died for you. Your sins are forgiven. Oh, and we got to peel off pride. The Lord does not like pride. And he blesses the humble. When you can say, you know what? I have made a mistake. I am just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody. I love that song. we got to peel off pride and get rid of it. We face an uncertain times, but the proverb says, don't lean into what you understand. Lean not on your own understanding. Lean into the Lord. Lean into Him so that we can peel off the layers and we can have some sound judgment. Now, to do that too, here's what you're going to have to do. we got to know who Jesus is. What would Jesus do? Well, who is this man, God, man, Jesus? Who is He that forgave sinners and loved little children and took a cord and turned the tables over and run them out of the temple. Who is he? Well, we're going to have to read about him. And you might have to sit under somebody, their instruction, somebody who has read about him and understands him. That sounds like reading the Bible and going to church to me. So that we can peel off the layers. So you can know who he is. So you understand what he wants. We can move forward without fear because we are grounded in him who loves us. And as my good friend Phyllis said, whether we live in this world or the next, we will all still be living. Lord, give me courage. Give us courage. Give us strength to go out as a representation of you and who you are. Let us bring heaven on earth to somebody. And for that, Lord, we give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen.